Hi, I'm Shelly Wood. You might know me from ShellyWood.com. This is my tiny sewing room where I make doll clothes sewing videos. Today I'm going to show you how to make this adorable skirt which has knife pleats. But before we begin sewing this pleated skirt, please go to Shellywood.com, my website blog, to download these four free patterns. There are four patterns in this set. You'll need to tape patterns one to pattern two, and then you'll have to tape together all four of these ruffle patterns for the pleats. They're long skinny patterns, two per page. So you would print two pages. And here's a little clip to show you how to tape your long skinny ones together. Use your patterns to cut out all the pieces shown. Create a casing in the top section of the skirt. And I'm going to show you how to make a casing like this. You just sort of bend the fabric for a little bit and then bend it a little deeper so that it's wide enough to fit your elastic inside. And then you sew across the base of that. Next, make a narrow double fold hem on the ruffle. Again, you would double fold it and then sew it. Measure your hemmed ruffle piece and place a straight pin along its unhemmed edge every two inches all the way down to the end of the ruffle piece. Make your measurements very carefully. You're going to want to fold the fabric between each straight pin and then pin it down at the exact middle. Now I know that's complicated so I made a little video clip to show you how I do this. So first of all notice that the yellow headed straight pins are spaced two inches apart and this very first fold it isn't going to be an exact middle because you kind of want a little bit of an overhang for um, stitching later when you um, fold the whole skirt in half to stitch. But the second one is exactly how you do all of them. You fold it in the exact half, and then you'll notice I put a red straight pin, a shorter one, right through that to kind of hold that fold in place. And you're going to want to do that second one all the way down. Once again, fold the fabric between each of the yellow straight pins, and at the fold's exact middle point, you're going to press the middle down next to the yellow pin and then hold the fabric in place with the red pins. Once you've created a long line of these pleats, measure your, your line of pleats against the top section of the skirt to make sure that they're the exact same length. If their length does not match, then you have to make some adjustments because you probably didn't measure exactly right, and even I have to do that. Before attaching the length of pleats to the top piece, be sure to baste over the pleats to hold them in place, removing the straight pins as you go. If you don't remove straight pins, they will damage your sewing needle on your sewing machine. And I'm using a 1 4th inch stitch. Press the pleats firmly in place and you'll find spray starch can really help them hold their shape. It doesn't help once you wash it out, but it does help hold the shape. Make a one centimeter or about a half inch stitch down the top of each pleat, right along the edge of the fold from the base stitch down. That's about a centimeter. This will help the pleat hold its shape even after it has been washed. So spray starch will hold it in place while you do the sewing, um, but these little stitches really help. Okay, lay your long row of pleats upside down, matching up the unsewn edges with right sides together. Notice the casing that we've sewn is down where my finger is pointing at the bottom. And then you're going to stitch along that unsewn rough edge. I actually did this by hand when I 
attach my ruffle to the rest of the skirt. I hand stitched it. Um, this just helped me keep those ruffles nice and tight as I was sewing. Flip the ruffle down and press it with your hot iron. Cut a piece of elastic to fit your doll's tummy. Attach a safety pin to one end of the elastic. And this is how I send my elastic through the casing on the skirt's top. I have a tutorial that shows you how to do this if you need a little help. And then notice that I place a straight pin in the end where the elastic is um, and that helps hold the straight, the straight pin helps hold the elastic in place while I'm working with the skirt. You want to put one on each end to hold the elastic in place. Then fold the skirt in half with right sides facing. And when I say right sides facing, that means the colorful part of the fabric touches the other side of the colorful side of the fabric. And then you're going to sew a line from the elastic waist all the way down the back side of the skirt to the hem at the bottom of the pleats. Now you're ready to invert the skirt. By invert, I mean you flip it around so that you can see the pretty side of the fabric. And then you're ready to try it on your doll. If you want to make the pretty sweater that I have in her poses, I actually have a free pattern for that one too. You just go back to Shellywood.com for more free patterns. I have patterns for dolls of many shapes and sizes, um, including Barbie and all her sisters and lots of others. Well, that's all I have for you today. Thanks for watching. If you like my videos and my free patterns, it really helps to have um, my followers tell friends and family about the website where you can find all these free patterns for doll clothes, even like this little dress. Goodbye, thanks for watching.